as a most loyal subject of Her Majesty the Queen, Empress of the British Isles and the Empire, and a member of the Tea Drinking Federation. Which will take over the world, whether you want it or not. It is often my task to bring forward those consoles which please Her Majesty in a most gracious way. But then again, sometimes there are consoles, and I have the mispleasure of presenting them, that displease Her Majesty. Now I've had to put my key down for this, so you know that I'm annoyed already. Now, one of these consoles which annoys Her Majesty is this bloody thing. The bloody end drink pad! Must remain calm, must remain British. This piece of tat has to be one of the worst consoles I've ever come across. It does have a few good areas, a few, but in the whole, it's completely poop. Don't believe me? Let's go upstairs and have a look. Right, who have we got on the transporter today? <laughs> Okay, Wally, are you sure you can do this right? Okay, activate transporter and chock some in. Ah, that's better. So, the enjoy pad. You may be asking yourself, what the hell is that? Well, let's find out. Well, it's this thing. Well, it's not exactly this thing, it's, uh, this is just a box that contains the abomination. It's inside. But you know that anyway. Right, anyway, let's have a look at the box first. Yes, it's uh, generally representative of the boxes that come when uh, that cheap tat come in. There's uh, some three exciting games, so you can already see what amazing graphics you're not going to get. Load a disc, plug into your TV for awesome games action. Includes three discs, with 59 games in total. Oh, the excitement, look at those discs. State of the art buggers them. Oh yeah. Four pound. See there? Four pound. I wanted to show you that because I wanted to show you that I wasn't stupid enough to pay the full price of this thing. Right, okay, and uh, yeah, view around the box, it excitingly shows you the, the game action there. Wow. Uh, on the back you can see, whoa hey, look at those quality graphics, yes. So, with uh, extreme excitement, we can open the bugger. Oh, just before I do, this product is with patent. Oh yes. Advanced Bright Limited will take legal action against violators for copyright infringement or imitation in any forms. Somehow, uh, <coughs> Advanced Bright Limited. I think there's very little chance of anybody wanting to imitate this thing. Oh, right. Let's dig in. Let's see what we get for our four pound. Now mine didn't come with a tray, like some people do, so it's all loose in the box, but I've got all this stuff. Right, you get the cable, which is probably the uh, best part of the system. You also get, oh, they're the discs. Let's have a look at the discs. One's gone out. One has gone walkies, but believe me, it's in there somewhere. Right, these are the discs. Oh no, it's here, it's behind. Right, here are the discs. Disc 1, which has intelligence game series such as Burger Build, Right Move, Abacus, Underworld, Fun Click, and Disc 2, which has a Bumpity Bop, In and Out Racer, Diamond, Baseball, UFO Race, Sports and Adventure. That disc. You may notice that there's only one groove on the back. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Disc 3, Action Game Series. This is a big one. Oh, yes, this has got more on it, that's why. So we're to believe. Uh, Mars, Spot, Eggit, Helicopter, Harry, Flyby, Neighborhood Smudge, Enemy Assault, and yes, all that. 
Ooh, the excitement mounts. Right, this is one of the Enjoy Pads controllers, which has quite an advanced looking end on it for what it is. Alright, control itself. Yeah, it feels like nothing. If the wind came along, this would blow up and you could use it as a kite. But, other than that, to be honest, I have to say, the controls actually quite help feel quite good. So, not too disappointed with that actually. Get two of them. Here, you money. I see. Now, <sighs> instruction book. Mm, handy. All printed in a sub look. Locate the battery cover and the button on the main console. Move the battery cover. Here's yeah, the English. Uh, the English doesn't appear to be too bad, actually. Stage 3 operation. Uh, got a little assembly, assembly. Personally, I think the disassembly instructions would be more useful. But, here we go. Here's the bugger itself. Now, from this, you're going to see why this is the only console in the world that runs on beer. Oh yes, believe me it is. It runs on beer. Well, strictly, it actually runs on batteries. Uh, too many of them, how much? Ah, oh, four AA batteries. 2005 is made. But, I took this out to its case for the first time and, yes, good quality, the lid broke. So that's not stained down, so you actually have to sit a can of beer on top of this to use it. Great, eh? Now, got your two ports, your uh, controllers, power button, reset button. I do like the off position on the power button. Probably the best position for it. Uh, and quite impressive for this system. Audio, audio and video composite. Now, you may have seen this in other videos, but if not, this is the secret to the system. Each disc, as we'll see, is a different size. All you do is you put them on, and that actually presses down a button, which tells the console what to play. So you've got the slightly larger one, which presses down so you just play the sports and adventure games. We've got the full size one there. You go. This is all three down. So that's how it works. Games are not on the disc. Discs are just pieces of plastic. Games are in there. So to be honest there are a couple of cracking games on this but it's mostly poop. So next stage let's go and have a look at some of these games. <laughs> 